Hi everyone! Hi. I'm back and to a beautiful sunny France again. So I'm really, really happy I had to do some work. And now I'm super pleased because the birds are singing, the sun is shining. And no, we cannot turn down the volume of the birds. <laughs> we have been asked before. It is natural here. And today we are super, super excited because... Oh, I forgot my line. Right. Okay. Anyway, no, <laughs> anyway. Um, we've had a couple of days where we couldn't show you anything we've been filming for the film crew. So, we're going to now get on with a few things we can show you. Mm. And it's really trying to finish off, it's those last minute things, I say last minute, last part of various projects to pull things together ready for our events. So there's lots of little things we've done the bulk of the hard work and now we get to finish off the last bit to show you the real transformation. Yeah, it's basically less of, well, uh, finishing off. It's more so carry on transforming and the whole is the whole job is about run up to our events. We've been obviously doing this from the start of the year and it's all coming together as you guys seen. It's starting to really transform and be really, really beautiful and defined. So we're going to continue with that. So super, super excited. Yeah, and on that, our first event here is going to be the 30th of July. So we've only got about five weeks and I'm not sure looking around, that's yeah. enough time. So this should be fun. Before I went away, I managed to do this section and define it. It's literally in front of our chateau and these are beautifully flowering bushes, which are fuchsias. They produce pink flowers all summer long and this beautiful rose bush. So I managed to lay down weed mat here before and never actually quite managed to finish the job. So today is about definition and landscaping and I want to make this place look really, really beautiful and wow. So what I want to do here is prepare this stone, this border edging and do a similar thing which I did for the chapel trees out there where I painted them white with lime paint which was coming out of like brilliant white, it's beautiful definition. So right now I'm just removing some uh, moss of these stones, just preparing the area. And uh, the reason I needed to put some uh, weed suppressant here is I've got a big problem of buying weed over here. So I'm hoping that it will start to control it. So here it is. Come and have a look at it. It's just milky white. It reminds me of Greece. Look how beautiful and white it is. It's literally what probably Greece is painted with. Natural lime, which is chalk. All right, so I need to just mix it up and, and uh, to a nice paste consistency and then mix it 50-50 with water so that it turns into paint and I'll be able to lightly dab on those stones. And when it dries, it's gonna be as white as this. It's gonna be beautiful. instantly transforms it doesn't it and best thing about this is this lime chalk actually kills any moss growing so and uh, it's yeah antibacterials which is great for the plants really adding the last touches of our gravel it's looking good and professional How hot is it today, Philly? <laughs> I'd rather be, I think I might go cool down in the oven. <laughs> it really is incredibly hot. I think we're having, uh, yeah, uh, heat warnings around. Um, so yeah, that's a really, really nice contrast, isn't it? Yeah. Do you like this idea? Uh, I'm loving it because it just changes the contrast between the two sorts of sets of gravel. Yeah. Great. We did want to go and buy white marble gravel, literally it's white marble, but the cost was so non-productive and I thought, well, this could be the, the thing that we need to do instead because it's more cost effective and it does the job, doesn't it? Right, we finished all the work and it looks really lovely and transformational in a very quick, steady succession. So I'm really, really pleased with that. The whole entrance of the chateau is looking tidy or should i say side entrance it's 12 o'clock the heat is 
horrendous. We're gonna continue working inside because it's too dangerous to work outside now. Right, it is currently 34 degrees and it is way too hot to do anything. Ordinarily, the chateau is really, really cool inside and even that is not. And it's getting a bit horrendous, to be honest, uh, especially all the manual labor that this place entails. So I'm going to do something for Angelina and myself, which is a bit fun and a bit different. You a bit hot, mate. that nice cool shady part yeah the terrace is nice like that isn't it our sun terrace over there which is the original foundations the other half of the house that was knocked down while it's getting a lot of sun right now and it's not quite open for use properly still needs a couple of bit of jobs it's about to get the shade because the sun will drop behind the trees shortly and as Angie and I both like camping both like sleeping under the stars and especially on a hot day like today I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to sleep out on the terrace tonight and enjoy fresh air, cool breeze, birds singing, and of course, a little bit of shade when the tree goes, the sun goes down behind those trees. I think lightning already agrees it's a good idea. Isn't that right, mate? But what a view we're going to have to spend the evening in it is a really nice place to be here especially now the shades come in and we get a bit of cool off the uh, off the moat water be a bit of fun won't it they're just some wooden sofas that i made for our wedding here um, little l-shaped wooden sofas with some cushions and they just fold together to make a little day bed so that'll be quite a nice place to sleep this evening through this heat wave and it'll be something a bit different. I want to say a massive thank you to everybody for your patience um, as we haven't had as many videos as normal out because we were filming for the TV show and there were things that we couldn't do. We literally just had two days of full-on filming as well so we couldn't do anything even behind the scenes. That's now stopped for a few weeks so we are going to be back to normal with videos. So Thank you so much for everyone that's new to the channel. Thank you for joining us. Um, loads of people have joined after seeing that video about the hidden tunnels. I will give you an update on that in the coming weeks because we have been taking on to loads of your suggestions behind the scenes and we will be uh, looking into that and even a bit further and I have been contacted some local historians. So interesting stuff coming up on that. If you haven't seen that video yet, there is a link at the end of this video. Other than that, I hope through this hot weather you're all staying safe, well hydrated, and everyone is having a fantastic time. I'll see everyone tomorrow. Bye now.